Chief Seattle Club has been serving the needs of Native people living in downtown Seattle for 37 years. Now, for the first time, they have their own building. Frank Moxley has the story of the grand opening. Every night, close to 2,000 people sleep on the streets of Seattle. Of that number, one-third of them are natives. Since the city was founded, Indian people have been a very underserved group. Our people suffer a lot out on the street, and they're cold and they're hungry. They're looking for places to stay. And actually, most of all, they're looking for each other. In the early 70s, Father Raymond Talbot realized the Indians on the streets needed help. Basically, he was serving donuts and coffee every morning to homeless Native Americans who were on the street who needed a place to stay. He felt compassionate about wanting to help this population who were struggling from alcoholism. From that humble beginning, the Chief Seattle Club was formed, serving the needs of urban natives in the Pioneer Square neighborhood of downtown Seattle. We serve a wide variety of individuals that come here to the Chief Seattle Club. Um, the age range is anywhere from youth on up through elders. We have veterans. We have people who actually, in fact, have housing. Because the reason they come here is not just to receive food and different services for homeless needs, but to also just come together in a place where they can socialize and just be among other Native Americans. Chief Seattle Club represents Native Americans from all over North America. 25% of the, the Natives that we serve here come from Alaska. They're Alaska Natives. 15% are from Washington State Tribes and 11% are from uh, the Sioux Nations. But we also have representation from tribes all over Canada, um, all over this region, the plains, as well as into the southwest. We've got a lot of Apache. We have a lot of Pima and Diné. And we also even have several tri tribal members from the East Coast. For years, Chief Seattle Club was located in a basement near the Smith Tower. It had short hours and shared space with another social service agency. For over 30 years, Chief Seattle Club has always been inside the Lazarus Day Center and other leased facilities. We've always only been able to operate for a couple hours out of the day, just providing those basic needs, and that was about it. Because those needs are ever-growing, Chief Seattle Club needed to grow. Through the efforts and donations of many people, Chief Seattle Club was able to purchase its own building. In December, the new club was dedicated. With our very humble hearts, we thank all of you. And I want to thank each and every one of you for believing us, in us and believing in our vision. One person on hand to participate in the ceremony was Chief Seattle Club architect John Paul Jones. Some people, uh, Indian people, are, are on the streets and they're f trying to find their way, and this center will help them, I think, quite a bit because they'll see things from spaces that have a circular feel to them that relates directly to their communities that they came from. They'll see the artwork, they'll be able to get good, uh, you know, good showers, food and all that. And I think it's going to help a lot for the Indian, urban Indian street people here in Seattle. Today we serve nearly 1,000 Native Americans who are from all over the map. Um, we serve actually uh, 120 to uh, 140 meals per day. And the services that we're providing is, number one, the hot meal, showers, laundry service. Uh, people can come and see a caseworker from a DSHS or Seattle Indian Health Board. Um, we have a TV lounge room. They can come and use the computers, local and long distance um, phone calls um, to reconnect them with their tribe, fax machines, and some financial assistance as well. Chief Seattle Club is funded through private donations. The majority of our contributions come from individuals, then tribes, corporations, foundations, and religious, uh, religious organizations. We have to think very creatively a lot of the times so that we can find different ways of providing our funds because Chief Seattle Club does not accept any government or public, public funds. Chief Seattle Club could definitely use a lot of support from the wider community as well as our native community. Well, food donations are really needed here at Chief Seattle Club, being the, one of the main things that we provide here is the, is the meal in the morning, and then the monetary donations, you know, and also um, then people's time. You know, we could use a lot of volunteers down here, you know, technical support, and in any way that, that people are available to provide that help would be greatly appreciated. 
For 37 years, Chief Seattle Club has helped all who come, serving Native people who need help surviving on the streets of Seattle. For Northwest Indian News, it's Frank Mosley reporting. Okay.